Welcome back to another edition of the podcast. So today with me, I have NHL 2020 draft prospect William Dufour on the line with me. William, how are you doing today? Pretty good. What about you? Oh, I'm doing great as always. Uh, so the first question today is, uh, who influenced you to start hockey? Um, when I was young, my dad, my family played hockey, like my uncle. My dad's uncle played in the NHL with the Nordic. So... Um, this is about my family. So uh, my dad, when I was young, just put skate on my feet and just start play, playing hockey uh, with uh, with my parents and with my family. Did your dad ever show you any Quebec Nordic clips? No, like two two weeks ago, I watched on TV like Nordics beyond Montreal, but it's the only time that uh, I watch uh, the Nordic. So lots of people have been watching Netflix. Uh, Tiger King is among the shows that are very, that is very popular. Uh, what have you been doing during quarantine? Uh, at the beginning of the quarantine, I watched um, Casa de Papel. And uh, like I just finished uh, yesterday, Last Dance of Michael Jordan. So that's it's one of the best series I ever, uh, ever watched. Yeah, it provided a lot of insight to how the Bulls were, were ran, you know, with the management. Yeah. Uh, you played with uh, Shakutami for 31 games, totaling 22 points. What was that experience like? Uh, what Shakutami, it was a very good experience. Uh, I went there last year. I got traded from my wife to Shakutami, and uh, we were traded by uh, a professional. And it was a very good uh, organization. I had a lot of ice time, too. The, the boys were very nice with me. Uh, I, had a, I had a good friend, good friends like uh, Lapierre, uh, Former Rochette, I was very near from them, and to be traded in Drummondville was like very good for me too. Um, for sure, I was uh, going uh, like far from my from my friends, but like at the end of the at the end of the day, it was a good thing for me. Like you said, you got traded to Drummondville. Uh, what was that call like? Because you know, with junior, not many trades happen. Yeah, um, like at the beginning of the trade deadline, um, like. I would, my mom asked me if I, I think that I'm going to be traded. And then I said no because in my head, like, I was there to stay. And um, when my agent told me that I get, I get traded to Drummondville, I was on the truck at the beginning. Like I said, because I was losing my friends, my bullets, uh, like all the boys, all their organization was good. The city was very nice too. But like I said, uh, in Drummondville, it was very, very nice too. And like, I had a good ice time there. And the boys were nice too. So it was a good thing for me to be traded. Did you ever play Shakutami at all after being traded to Drummondville? Yeah, I played twice. Um, my third game in Drummondville. With Drummondville, we played in Shakutami and we beat them. So that was nice. <laughs> Did you have any uh, laughs with some of the guys that were on the other team? Yeah, but on the ice? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like I had a picture with uh, Michael Pellerin, like when we played in Drummondville, that like, we were in front of the net and we were talking. And the both of us were laughing, but for sure when I play hockey against them, like it's not my friends on the ice. They are my friends out the, outside the ice, but on the ice, I had no friends. So, what were some of the challenges that you faced during the season? What I don't understand. What were some of the challenges that you faced during the season? Um, when I arrived in Drummondville, uh, the things were not going very well. Uh, I think I had like five points in ten or eleven games, and I had a meeting with the coaches. And they just told me what I need to improve in practice and game. And I just switched my game. And like at the end of the year, like I think I have 14 point game streaks. So I think just the, the thing that I switch, uh, I, I had a big challenge to like to climb the mountain, if I can say that. Uh, and I succeed. So that, that was my biggest challenge this year. What will you miss most about the season since it was canceled due to the coronavirus? Uh, playing hockey. Uh, I didn't put my skates since uh, we we canceled it. The season the season was canceled. Uh, for sure, I'm going outside a lot of time. I'm shooting puck. Uh, I'm going. I'm doing some ends with my um, my ice uh, air, and um, for sure outside air. I'm I'm gonna buy my the roll blade. It's very soon, so I'm gonna do roll blade outside too. To pass my time. So, like you said, uh, you struggled with Drummondville early on, how, and you spoke with the coaches. So, uh, how much practice did go into make, making sure that you were comfortable with uh, getting your point streak back on course? Um, for sure, like the first practice after, uh, I was very sharp. I just focused on the details that they, need, they want me to improve. Um, 
but like two, three, four practice. Like just the next game I play, I think I could practice like twice before uh, for the first game, and since then, just since there, my 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 things were rolling very good. When did you realize that you would be continuing your hockey in the NHL? Uh, I don't know. I just want to play hockey and I just improve as a player, as a person every day. So for sure, for sure right now I want to play in the NHL and I want to be drafted. So um, I don't know for sure. It's hard to avoid looking at the rankings during the season. Uh, how did you make sure it didn't affect your performance? On the ranking a season uh, professional CSR list? On the list, uh, in the, yeah, central in the scouting initial. rankings. Yeah. Um, at the beginning, I was not ranking, like I, and I said, um, that was tough for me. But my agent told me, like, just to focus on my things and just to don't worry about this list. And it was a mistake that I was not there and like all these things. And then Christmas list, I was I think I was ranked 99, and uh, for sure I was happy because like. The list before was not there, and I passed to not there to 99, so I was very happy. But on the ice, I don't think about that. I just want to to play my to play my game and just to bring uh, good things to my team. And I did that, and like good things happened. I was on the last list. I, on the last list, I was ranked 69. So, uh, and I didn't focus on that now. What do you hope to bring to the team that drafts you? Um, my offensive skills, uh, for sure. My my biggest. Of my biggest trend is my offensive skills, my shots, um, my hands, my hockey vision, my hockey sense, um, all these things I want to bring to my to the team that's gonna be drafting. And how has the coronavirus affected your draft preparation? Uh, for sure, we I, it wasn't supposed supposed in to be supposed to be in Montreal, and um, for sure that's bad that it's gonna be online. But like we don't know yet the day, the day that's gonna be, so I'm very excited to know it. But for sure, it's like I'm gonna be draft in real and online. So I'd, for sure, it's it's nice to be draft in real, but online it's very nice too. So I just want to be drafted, and uh, yeah, that's it. Are you a fan of any NHL team? Uh, when I was younger, I was a fan from of the uh, Washington Capitals uh, because my favorite player since I'm young it's Alexander Ovechkin. So it's my favorite team, but like right now, I have no very favorite team. It's just my young child favorite team. Did you ever feel any happy sentiments when they won the cup in 2018? Yeah, when they won the cup, I was very happy because like since I think two years before that, uh, Cindy Crosby and the Penguins uh, made them in thinking second round. So um, for sure, it was nice to see Ovi like very happy with the cup and like every everywhere in the town where he was with the cup and with beer and so that was nice to see him with like that yeah the Capitals celebrated like crazy that was a crazy yeah. off season <laughs> yeah and you know you spoke about Alexander Ovechkin Do you, is that who you like to model your game after um for sure it's if one day I'm able to do like what he did for sure I will try but the the guy that I model my game on it's um Blake Wheeler from Winnipeg I think he's a big guy like me a righty good shot so I think it's it's a good model for me. And final question here. Do you have any advice for hockey players that may look up to you? Uh, just to never uh, give up. Like when I was Bantam, uh, my first year Bantam, I was cut from the Bantam Tripoli. So, so I did the Bantam Double and it was the first time in my life that I got cut. And like, I didn't have a good season. Like I just want not to quit hockey, but just to have fun playing hockey. But I had not, I, I have no fun to this year. So, just to keep working hard, just to never give up like I, I did. Mid-Jet, uh, at the beginning of the season, I was playing on the fourth line, no PP, no PK. And like at the end of the year, I was on top six, first PP, first PK. So just never give up, keep working hard in practice and in the gym and good things going to happen. All right, well, that'll do it for this edition of the podcast. I'd like to thank NHL 2020 draft prospect William Dufour for joining me. Thank you.